Sport is a lively platform full of passion, triumph, defeat, emotion, and pride. People love sports from the core of their hearts, but some players do not have the true sportsman spirit. Huge controversies take place among those players due to their words and actions. The world of tennis is not an exception. Stay tuned to the end to find out about the tennis stars who are the most hated by lovers of this game. Hello, and welcome back to Rally Rackets. In today's video, we're going to take a look at some hated and annoying tennis players. Let's get started. Tennis is a popular game that's presently played by a major portion of the world. A large number of spectators watch tennis for the relentless action between two players. This is an exciting sport that emphasizes fair play and requires players to behave properly. But the sport often comes under criticism for some players and their illicit behavior. Some tennis stars have a reputation for being unpleasant due to their repeated unsportsmanlike actions and statements. Let's have a look at them one by one. Ernest Gulbis This sportsman earned a nickname as a wild child of tennis for becoming a controversial and rude player. He was once regarded as a gifted player, but is now well known for his remarks and attitudes. He once remarked, interviews with players like Nadal, Djokovic, Federer and Murray are too boring. Continuing this rude attitude further, in 2014, he stated that women should not seek careers as professional tennis players. He also stated that he does not want his sister to pursue a career in tennis. Furthermore, he stated in an interview that men's tennis is more competitive than women's tennis. With all this stuff, he also has a bad reputation on the field. There have been numerous incidents of destroying rackets and confronting and cursing umpires labeled on his name. The next not-so-good boy on the tennis court is Jimmy Connors. This player has an extremely good record in the game, but it's totally opposite when it comes to behaving properly. Connors became famous for his outbursts and drama on the court as well as his powerful two-handed backhand and outstanding return of serve. Daniel B. Wood of the Christian Science Monitor wrote, He has been called a tennis champion, punk, maverick, and street fighter rolled into one. In the 1991 US Open, he had one of his iconic heated outbursts. He bullied the umpire and screamed at him after making a terrible call. Jimmy Connors was once known to be the type of player who would wait in the parking lot to settle a score with an opponent. Connors, despite media and fan criticism, believed that he gave individually to the sport, and the sportsman frequently asserted that many of the world's finest tennis players were simply uninteresting. The attitude should be at the top of whatever comes in between. The next name on our list is Ili Nastasi. During Johanna Conta's singles play against Romania's Serana Cristi, Natasi, who got the nickname Nasty during his pro tennis career, went berserk. During a heated debate, he appeared to F-bomb the chair umpire. Nastasi allegedly screamed foul epithets at Conta and British captain Anne Kyothathong during the ensuing commotion. The referee expelled Nastasi from the stadium. When Nastasi played, there was a lot of mocking, swearing, and rage. Fans were irritated by the continual use of violence in his actions and remarks. Nastasi was banned many times after disrespecting female players. He even made racial remarks about Serena Williams' unborn child. The next player who left a bad taste in the fans' mouths is Nick Kyrgios. He's arrogant, brave, and volatile, but he always manages to step over the line in some way in every event he enters. The media and previous tennis players, including John McEnroe, have accused him of tanking, verbal abuse, and unsportsmanlike conduct. Kyrgios was described by the Associated Press in 2019 as a fiery sort who's often gotten into trouble for on-court behavior. He's also noted for his authenticity and individuality, and has been hailed as an extraordinary talent and a real individual by three-time Wimbledon winner John Newcomb. The next player is John McEnroe from America. Sport is initially about sportsman spirit. Win or lose, both are integral parts of the game. A player should know how to balance in both situations. In the case of McEnroe, he just missed the balance and came into bad books. He was obsessed with winning, which isn't unnatural. What was unusual was how much he despised losing. In many ways, he was pettish, acid-tongued, and exemplified the entitled mindset. But he will be remembered in tennis. He's a player who calls officials jerks or throws a ball at an umpire. He came close to being ejected from a Wimbledon tournament in 1981 after yelling at the umpire and authorities. The next sportsman who made the headlines, of course, for his bad reports is Bernard Tomic. 
Bernard Tomic has been making news for his disciplinary acts since he was a young player. Tomic even asked the umpire to dismiss his father from the stands in the 2012 Miami Masters. In 2013, he was sentenced to eight months in prison for headbutting and breaking his striking partner Thomas Durrett's nose. That's really scary. Moving on, Daniel Collier. An Austrian player also on this list has a black mark against his name, and his name was marked regarding a match fixing, which is rare in this sport. Unlike other sports, match fixing is rarely monetized in tennis. But this player is the first person to be banned for life for attempting to rig matches. He was found guilty of three different infractions of anti corruption rules in sport. He had already received a six month suspension for his bad behavior in 2006. In addition, Cholera has a history of being impolite and unpleasant in tennis. Julio Silva of Brazil filed allegations against him for making racial statements to the ATP during the 2010 ATP Challenge Tour in Italy. The next one is the Australian player Leighton Hewitt, who was composed of excessive attitude, ego, and anger. In the 2001 US Open, he perhaps had one of his most remarkably unpleasant moments. During the game, a black linesman twice called him for a foot foul. He later claimed that the linesman had called the fault against him because of his racial color. Hewitt even nicknamed chair umpire Andre England net judge spastics at the French Open. Well, match against Robin Haas. So he shattered the racket and tapped the ball in the direction of the line judge. Hewitt also blasted the umpire's decision during the news conference. And the next tennis player is Alexander Verez, who also failed to win the hearts of the fans around the world. This young star represented himself as another loud, brazen, and brash tennis player. Zverev, while being a promising player, has crossed the line on multiple occasions. Umpires, fans, tournament officials, and sponsors have all been abused by him several times. Then, he did the expected and got himself into a lot of trouble by smashing his racket. When he engages in these conflicts, the spectators have shown their disgust. Zverev has surrendered multiple times and he has a fiery attitude and temper which may explain his poor Grand Slam tournament record so far. Moving forwards, here comes Adrian Manorino. On the tennis court, Adrian Manorino is not well known. Tennis fans dislike him, primarily because of his contentious and disrespectful behavior over the years. He collided with a ball boy during the 2017 Wimbledon. He afterward joked about the event, which resulted in a £7,000 punishment. It's not the first time he's had a run-in with the ball boys. He had previously kicked a ball boy in the neck and purposely flung his racket near a youngster. He also chastised the first New York Open, claiming that if it hadn't been for his fiancée, he would have committed suicide due to the tournament's remote location. And here, we've brought you the last one on the list, Maria Sharapova. At the time, when this tennis superstar won her maiden Grand Slam victory all those years ago, she was a tennis world's sweetheart. She has since grown into a stunning sportswoman who was once the highest paid athlete on the planet. But Maria's life was altered dramatically. According to ESPN.com, there's one glaring moment that jumps out. She was banned for doping, and she didn't even realize the chemical she was taking was on the list of prohibited substances. However, many individuals believe her general demeanor is revolting. People say she's arrogant and think she's better than everyone else. Her demeanor is frequently misinterpreted as arrogance. Then, there's her general lack of enthusiasm for tennis. Maria is more concerned with the financial aspect of things. People have concluded that she does not treat the sport with the respect it deserves. To sum up, the integrity, ethics, and pride of every sport should be maintained by the players on and off the field. As they are role models to their fans, they should maintain a positive image. Though it's worth mentioning there is a large number of players who become such inspirations to this generation, the players that we've mentioned have undoubtedly spoiled the divinity of the sport. So with this, our video has come to an end, but we will return with some new and exciting videos in the future. Please ensure that you enjoy our video by hitting the like button. Also share your thoughts and opinions in the comment box below. Don't forget to click the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you for your time. We hope to see you at the next one. And until then, peace.